how to trade in high value areas. So I'm going to do a diagram just to show you uh, a few examples before we get into the charts. Watch up until the end so that you can understand. So let's say you have like this highest high here and then this is your low low and then price is moving in this type of fashion. First bottom and then price will move to the upside and then reach this highest high here and then drop maybe in a form of a descending channel like this. And then after it reaches here, it will break the structure, break this double bottom. Then this is my psychology. People are caught in the wrong side. And then price will just push back to the upside and then give you like some type of the correction around this area and then push back to the upside. So this is a high value area just because price moved in a type of a descending channel. And then another thing that you have, you have this double bottom. And then you have your mass psychology. People are caught in the wrong side around this area here. And then let me just get to a chart and then show you what I'm talking about. And then we're on USDZR on a weekly chart. You can just check it out if you want to practice and all of that stuff. So this is a high value area. Price is in a double top area in a form of an ascending channel. So that's why we are expecting sales from here up until the 90% rule or this overall low here. So let me just move that and throw it in a clear format. So you have this as your high value area and then you have this as your lowest low and then this is a ascending channel that you focus on. This is your reversal pattern. And then you put the 90% rule at the lows around here. And then what you're waiting for is a push up mass psychology and then a push back down. And then you have your tight flag continuation to the downside. And then another thing that I was talking about uh, on yesterday's video is that the market has to break structure. So the structure that it has to break is this one around here. After it breaks this area, let's say it impulses down and then gives you like a correction around here. Then the market is showing you that it's going to impulse to the downside reaching this 90 percent rule here but you can still like take entries around this area here maybe an impulse down and then a tight flag around here you take the entry expecting the market to break this low here reaching the 90 percent rule as your target or the overall lows here uh, and then you go to the daily chart you look at the daily and then maybe on the daily you can just find like a pattern within a pattern like on this one here we have like a pattern within a pattern in this area here this is a pattern within a pattern and ascending within and ascending this area like this so if you get like two patterns two same patterns in one area it means that uh, it's a high probability setup so this is a high probability setup then moving to the four hour, you just do like your top down analysis, checking your analysis if like they're in line with everything. Then let me just see that. And then this is a mass psychology area here. It's not enough, but it works just because most of the time you can see that uh, price will just impulse up a little bit longer and then push back to the downside. Then you get a tight flag around this area here then you take your cells. So let's move to the hour chart. I'm just doing like a top down analysis while I'm showing you like value areas. Then we'll get to another pair. So in this area here, we have some type of a head and shoulders. In this area here, left shoulder, head, and then the right shoulder, and then price is trickling. In this type of fashion so what i'm expecting is for price to break like this area here after breaking this area then you can look for continuations around here to the downside so let me just give you another scenario that i have eurocad uh, on the daily chart and i'll just show you like the areas that you must use so i'm just gonna cut back price around here So let's say you have like price like this, and then you have this as your high value area, and then you have 
that's as your lowest low around this area here and then you just look left and then focus on how the market is moving to this area here and then that's where your high value area is and then price moved in a form of a reversal candlestick pattern around this area here so that's why price sold around here to the downside reaching this area and another example that i have is on euro gbp on the weekly chart we have this high here then we have this lowest low around this area here and then if you look left you see that the market was pushing to the downside very impulsively and then this is a correction to reach that value area and then drop to the downside and then as we drill to the downside let's switch to the daily chart then on the daily you can see that the last leg has like a form of an ascending channel at the top of the structure that's where we look for entries just because this is the high value area and then we just remove those and then another thing that we have is this mass psychology part around here and then moving to the four hour we have a clear pattern in this nice area like this now we can just put it like this just to focus like on the current structure and then you have this as your decent as your ascending channel reversal pattern then as you can see here the market is moving very correctively on this one it's moving in a form of a descending channel and then a descending channel is a reversal pattern to the upside but another thing that you can use to enter a trade here for sales is that a uh, running channel a running channel around here and then you look for an entry at the top of the structure for sales just because you are in a high value area for sales so that is it for today's video if you don't understand you can just drop a comment and i'll gladly respond or you can dm me on my social media platforms